Hey everyone, Mike here, and as you likely know, there's a new kill team coming out called Octarius that pits the death cores of Krieg against orc commandos. The style is very much like the 20th century world wars, so I thought I'd demonstrate how to make barricades that could be used for scatter terrain on this particular battlefield. If you haven't seen my razor wire fence terrain video, which also fits in perfectly with Octarius, there will be a link at the end of this video. And just a trigger warning for some people, I do use both copper and iron corrosion on the same bits of metal, so be warned! So to build these barricades, I'll be using Plasticard I-beams from Green Stuff World. I'm cutting these into 1.5 inch or 4 centimeter lengths, and I want to make two of these barricades, so I'm cutting six pieces total. These are going to be held together with super glue. I'm pouring a bit out, then I'm using a toothpick to spread the glue where I want it. The first two pieces of each barricade will be shaped like a plus sign. I'm going to use the grid on my cutting mat to line these up at a perfect 90 degree angle. After giving those five minutes to harden, I'm then adding the last beam. I'm putting some glue right in the crook between the first two pieces, making sure to get glue on both parts of this corner. I'm using the same puddle as super glue, and now it's thick and sticky, which means I won't have to hold this for very long before I can set it down. Now these particular barricades are going to be scenery on this 100mm base, but I'm also making a bunch more of these that I'll glue onto a strip of 2mm MDF and use as my scatter terrain. I'm just gluing these down with some more super glue, eyeballing where the glue should be added and then making a little puddle of it. Now that these are fixed in place, it's time to paint them. Anytime I paint metallic colors, I prefer to prime in black, but it really doesn't matter as long as you add two coats of paint and you don't miss any spots. Now I'm going to give both of these barricades complete coverage with silver. It doesn't matter what silver you use, anyone will do. This one is Cold Steel from P3. Once that's completely dry, I'm going to start with the corrosion. The first thing I'm going to do is mix a 3 to 1 mix of Nuln Oil and Black Templar to use as a heavy black wash. You don't need to have the Black Templar though, I'm just using it to get a grittier look. I'm using this wash to completely cover the barricades. Once that's dry, I'm adding another layer of wash, this time with Agrax Earthshade. I plan on adding two different types of corrosion to these barricades. The first is an iron oxide rust, and the second is a patina color. It's not super realistic, but it does kind of look cool, and it breaks things up visually. My first rust color is Doom Bull Brown, that I've watered down with about three parts water to one part paint. I'm just dabbing this in random places and covering roughly 60 or 70% of the metallic surface with it. Doom Bull isn't necessary for this, I've also used Mornfang Brown and Rhinox Hide for this first layer of rust as well. The second layer of rust is going to be Orange Rust from Secret Weapon, but again, any orange brown color will do for this. This paint is also watered down with about 3 parts water. I'm adding this color only on top of the Doom Bull Brown to give the illusion of areas of deeper rust. Obviously I don't want to cover all of the Doom Bull, but I am splashing this onto about half of the area covered by the Doom Bull. Next up is the patina color, or copper slash bronze oxidation. I'm going to do the exact same thing with these colors. I'm first starting with the darkest color, Sotek Green, and I'm dabbing this into some of the areas that didn't receive any of the iron rust. Next I'm taking some of the Nylac Oxide and I'm dabbing this in random places on top of the Sotek Green. I should mention that both of these colors are watered down, just like I did with the Iron Rust colors. The last thing I'm doing for these is dabbing on some edge highlights with a bright silver color. I'm using Shining Silver from Army Painter. I'm dabbing this on so that it kind of looks like the rust has been chipped away. 
And that's it for the rust effects. I'm just going to quickly finish off this base so you can see what it looks like. And there you have it, some easy to build metal barricades. Great for some super easy scatter terrain. Thank you very much to everyone who supports the channel and makes these videos possible. I'll be picking up Octarius as soon as possible, so if you're interested in seeing those speed painted, then hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.